welcome back to another mukbang. So today I have Taco Bell. And I ordered the Mexican pizza and it came with two um tacos. Um I think it was Supreme Tacos, but I didn't want um the, I don't like sour cream. So I told him to put it without and I got a root beer. So let's bless the food and dig in. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, bless this food I'm about to receive. Let it be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yeah, I've been wanting a Mexican pizza for some time now. I said, well, let me go ahead and get it. While I'm over here to buy it. And they gave me some sauces. I need three. Oh, that's hot. And I want hot. I got mild, mild. Oh, man. I guess I could just. Oh, nope. Not hot. Put a little bit of this on my Mexican pizza. And then save the rest for my taco. So, yes. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. I got myself together now. Yes. So how have y'all been doing? I am kind of excited at the weather. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They did that right. I am excited that the weather has proved down on. I uh, am. Today is warmer than it has. Oh, look at that cheese. Mmm. 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 Today is a lot warmer than it has been. What I'm here for it is not hot and not too cold. Well, I am here for it. Mm -mm. Mm. Got the root beer. Mm. Um, that hit the spot. I got tomatoes on top of it. Normally, I'm not a fan of tomato, but I'm not tasting it. I'll take that back. I do taste it. I guess I'm just hungry. Mmm. I was just listening to the radio. And I've seen, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all, excuse me, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have seen this list going around as well about certain restaurants females won't go to on the first day. Some of them I can get are not restaurants. They have places on there as well. Some of them I can get like a fast food chain on the first day. I can get that. But Applebee's, Waffle House, uh, Cheesecake Factory. Well, I've never been to a Cheesecake Factory, but still, I don't think a cheese. I think a Cheesecake Factory is okay. You're in a booth or a table, y'all by yourself. You talking, getting to know each other. Now the movies I can see because y'all, unless you just go to go to a restaurant to eat to get to know the person then go to the booth but not the movies first because you're not doing any talk you're not getting to know nobody it's quiet it's dark y'all looking at the screen now i can see that their house definitely i can see that that's a no no it's fine and then you want to cook and all but mm -mm. i don't know you like that 
I'm trying to get to know you. So definitely not your house on a first date. Mm -mm. I was just listening to the radio. And the lady on there said she wouldn't go to church on the first day. I would. Especially, especially if, like if he's a pastor or something, or if he got the preacher give the word, or he already had this event prior to us meeting and he can't cancel it. I would definitely go and then we can go after to somewhere to eat or something. But yeah, I would definitely do that. Um, I'm trying to see. I forgot what all else was on the list, but those was the one that comes to mind. I guess they want to be going to these five star restaurants. Do you take yourself to these five star restaurants? So you tell me you never eat at a regular, regular restaurant you always go to these upscale restaurants that you can't be seen in these local chains or a mom and i think one of was a mom and pop shop i would love that i mean what it doesn't bother me to go out to a regular restaurant like i said a uh, um fast food chain like mcdonald's wendy stuff like that then yeah i could see that for a first date but Something like Applebee's and stuff like that, it don't bother me. I don't know. Tell me your input on it down in the comment section below. From a male perspective as well as a female perspective. What was you guys' thoughts on that conversation? Mm-hmm. I mean, if you got that meaning, if you just want to be, I don't know. I do not know. I have been on a date, but it wasn't our first date. I had met this guy. <laughs> and it would irk my soul. I guess he was trying to be, I don't know, but it would irk my soul. Every time we go somewhere, he would pull out this huge book of coupons. I'm like, bro, really? I guess he's just trying to save money. I don't know. But he didn't do it on our first date. First couple of dates, he did The first time he did it, we went to the movie. And he was like, oh, I got some coupon. If we use this coupon, we can get a free uh, popcorn and we get so much off our ticket. I was like, okay, cool, bet. And then after that, we became a regular thing. We went to a restaurant. Everywhere we go, he would have these coupons. I, I guess you're trying to save money. But really, then you'll get mad if the people didn't apply this 25 cent off on it. I mean, bro, 25 say, man, I got the 25 cent here. That and then he gets mad. That ain't the problem. That ain't the principal. I got the court. It's the principal. I'm supposed to get it out. And uh, don't make a scene for 25 cents. I will give you the 25 cent if it's dead. If it's bothering you that much. But yeah. And what are your thoughts on that? If you meet a female, or no, females, if you meet a guy, and every time you go out, he's pulling out a big book of uh, um, a coupon, what would your response be to that? And fellas, if y'all are going half and half one day, she paid for it one day. You pay for it. And if it's her turn and she pulled out this book of receipt, me a uh, coupon, what would you do? Comment down below. But yeah. 
I'm kind of getting full. Well, not kind of. I did get full off of that taco pizza. So, yeah. I'm going to end the video here. Excuse me. Don't forget to comment your answers below to let me know how far you got to the video. At the end of the video. And until next time, stay blessed, stay safe. Peace.